kind of surreal. I know it's just a follow on Instagram. It doesn't really matter that much. I've watched his YouTube videos at least 50 hours, and he's someone that I've really looked up to for a long time, for many years. What's up, guys? So after that Greg Doucette video, he was not happy with that. He left like 10 comments on the video, uh, less than happy with what I thought of him, which is fine. That's his opinion. I'll link the video and his comments in the description below. If you've seen that video, you deserve to hear his opinion on himself. I don't agree, again, but, you know, you deserve to know both sides. So I wanted to make a more positive video, and today we're talking about Mike Matthews. So Mike Matthews was one of the first YouTubers that I ever followed. I think I watched his first video maybe five or six years ago, which is about how long his channel has existed. He has about 82,000 subscribers, and he really was one of the biggest influences on my lifting journey. And then recently when I've been, you know, transforming into a coach, into a writer, he's also been a big influence. I would say Mike is primarily an author, a writer. His books have sold, I think, over a million copies. He's one of the biggest authors on Amazon, and I would describe his writing style as somewhat similar to mine. Obviously, I don't copy him at all, but I would say at least subconsciously he has been an influence on my writing style. It's very conversational, it uses humor, it's a little bit edgy sometimes, pretty similar to me. So Bigger, Leaner, Stronger has a 4.6 rating on Amazon. Not quite as good as my 5.0 for sweat, but he also has about a thousand times as many reviews. So there's that. I would say if you enjoy my book, you would also get value from his book as well. Again, our writing styles are fairly similar, and if you enjoy my writing, you'll probably enjoy his writing as well. Now, specifically his YouTube channel, most of the content there seems to be his podcast. So it'll just be a blank screen, and then either him talking, like a Q&A or a specific topic, or it'll have a guest. Now, some of his guests are very, very high level. He's had Mike Isretel, Eric Helms. He's had probably hundreds of guests on his podcast, and it really is one of the better podcasts podcasts out there. Now, if you're looking for a channel that like tells you how to do lateral raises and how to do dips, probably not the channel for you. But if you're looking for a more in-depth discussion about how to lose fat, how to build muscle naturally, this is probably a good channel for you. I think it would be cool if he did more workout videos. He has a little bit of that on his Instagram, but one of the things that I get asked the most is about workout videos. So I think it would be also beneficial to him if he did more of those. One thing that I really personally like about his podcast, which other people might not like, is he talks about the business side of things. So he's very transparent with his business. He talks about what it is like to set up a business, to be in the fitness industry on that side of things, not just as a consumer or as a trainer, but as someone who owns a supplement company, someone who trains people, you know, online and in person. And for me, that has been really useful and really inspiring during my journey. And for me, I'm very grateful that I found his content very early. He's been an excellent sort of mentor. I guess he didn't really know he was mentoring me at all, but um, really he's an excellent resource if you're starting out. I highly recommend his content. And I agree with 99% of what he says. The only reason is it isn't 100 is because someone might dig something up that he said and say, oh, you agree with that. But basically everything that he says, I agree with, which is extremely rare in the fitness industry. You know, most people are like 90% at most. So I'm going to give him a 55 for content just because what he does have is good. But I think a lot of people on YouTube are looking for something more visual, more specific. So specific workouts, specific exercises, that kind of thing. Now his videos, most of them are either just a blank screen, which is, you know, not really anything fancy at all, or him just talking to the camera, which again, isn't really amazing. So if you're looking for amazing visual, visuals or impressive, hey, what's up guys? Or impressive, snazzy content, probably not the channel for you. Now, personally, I kind of like that minimalistic style where you can just have it sort of on in the background, push play, forget about it, do something else, and just absorb the information. But again, if you're looking for something with incredible cinematics, probably not the channel for you. So in terms of knowledge and experience, 
he doesn't have any certifications. I don't think he has any degrees. He hasn't like competed in powerlifting or weightlifting or anything. But that doesn't matter. I mean, neither have I for any of those things. My degree is economics, not you know fitness related. Uh, but I don't think that really hurts the quality of his information. And honestly, I think we have to get out of the idea where people just ask, what is your certification? Because he doesn't have one. I don't have one. And yet our service is still excellent and our knowledge is still at a very high level. And so I would give him a nine for knowledge and experience. Sure, he's not like the strongest guy in the world. I think he's benched 130 kilos, squatted 160, deadlifted, I want to say about 200. I could be a little bit off on those. He might be a little bit stronger or a little bit weaker, but he's, he's somewhere in that range. Like about 500 pound deadlift, 400 pound squat, 300-ish pound bench. So he's somewhat similar to me in terms of strength. So if you're going to subscribe to a channel for some big lifts, just subscribe to Larry Wheels. This isn't the channel for you. Again, I also personally like how he knows about the business side of things, and I get a ton of value from that. Hearing his experiences, you know, setting up a company and doing deals and marketing, all that stuff I find absolutely fascinating. And if you do too, I think you'll really like his channel. If not, just skip over that part. Marketing. So this is one area where Greg Doucette and Jeff Seed failed miserably. Whether it's, you know, taking your shirt off in public or insulting other YouTubers' girlfriends. To me, that gets a very low marketing score. It's very low, very cheap, and uh, kind of despicable in a way. But Mike Matthews doesn't really do that. He does place his products in his videos. and But, you know, that's normal. That's completely understandable. And that's a big part of the reason why he's doing the video in the first place, just to place the product, which is fine. I mean, we wouldn't have that knowledge if it wasn't for him. Someone got angry at me the other day for linking my social media on Quora, and they said it, it took away from the content. They wouldn't have the content if it wasn't for me in the first place. So I think product placement or linking to social media, that's completely fine. And he's very transparent with his supplements. Everything is in clinically approved dosages to make sure that you actually get an effect. His costs are very high because he actually sources the right ingredients. For every claim he makes, he cites evidence or he cites research directly. It's not like he links to another website, he links to the actual paper. And it's not uncommon for him to write an article or have a video and have like dozens of citations at the bottom. And I actually look at them and they say what he says they say which is actually pretty rare as well. Some people just link a bunch of papers that don't actually <laughs> say that much. Um, but he actually references the papers in the right way, which I think is awesome. And for me, that's been a big influence on how I write because I think that's the right way to do it. So I give him a 10 for marketing. 10. Full points. Good job. For physique, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. He does look impressive. I do think he is natural. Um, but he's not going to be winning any shows, I think, and I don't think he's like a professional bodybuilder. He's a guy who walks the talk, you know, he actually does what he preaches, which is nice. Um, and he looks really good, but I wouldn't give him like a 9 or a 10, because I think he's sort of a, a step below someone like Jeff Nippard, who has, you know, an incredibly impressive physique. As a Mike Matthews fanboy, I want to give him a 9 or a 10, but objectively, it's, it's just a step below. Anyway, the reason that I'm making this video is because he actually followed me on Instagram yesterday, which to me was kind of surreal. I know it's just a follow on Instagram, it doesn't really matter that much, but I've watched his YouTube videos at least 50 hours, maybe more, maybe like 100 hours, I'm not sure, but I've consumed a lot of his content, and he's someone that I've really looked up to for a long time, for many years, and so for him to follow me was, <laughs> I don't know, it was, it was it's cool, you know? It's just interesting because when I started lifting, I was just 68 kilos. And, you know, things have kind of come full circle where now I'm also an author. And for him to follow me was just really kind of moving in a way. I know it sounds weird, but um, it really was. And I hope I can keep that momentum going. I can also inspire people. Maybe there's someone at home who's watching my videos and might also get the same inspiration and the same motivation and the same information that can help you. Because that's what he gave to me, so that's what I want to give back to everyone else. That's it for today. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time.